Just because I browse E621 for these videos does not make me a furry. It's for research purposes and this time I wanted to figure out which of the most popular monsters for Monster Hunter, the creamy yip of the crop, make the best furry bait. On what criteria? Lean and anthropomorphic, as in if they have more anthropods compared to their feral or just straight up not okay art. If they wear clothes and how often they are seen with normal humans or other similar furry slash scaly monsters. Based on these attributes, I shall arbitrarily give them a score from 1 to 5 on the fur bait scale. We shall base these studies on only the first two pages of each monster's tags. Let's begin our anal sis of Toby Karachi, my personal least favorite in game of those included today. 149 total images between the first two pages of those, only 42 were proper anthro, which is already yikes. 6 were wearing clothes and 12 were with other anthropomorphic or human. The rest is horrible, which is already off to a bad start. And even then, those that are actual and proper furry baits were not that good art-wise. So I'ma give it 1.2 out of 5 on the fur bait scale. Got a problem? Make better art for Tobias. Legiacris. Of the total 150 images analyzed, 77 were directly anthro. 36 were having relations and 12 were clothed, which is already a much larger turnout compared to Toby. At least the furry artist gave Legiacris more respect even quality wise it's easier on the eyes despite me not being a furry but like eye Chris isn't wet enough so that knocks some points for me so I think 3.5 out of 5 is in order the flying wyvern t-rex with a total of 147 images studied 46 met the conditions a bit more than the electric squirrel but not by much which is quite disappointing it wears clothes 12 times and is seen having a partner eight times terrible numbers it's only saving grace is that it had a manga style fight scene in the gallery for some reason that was pretty epic not gonna lie so taking that into account it's like a three out of five raffian this one will probably be unsurprising. The canonical abused wife of Rathalos has 108 valid images of its possible 151 and an incredibly high turnout. So a lot of people really want to cuck Rathalos, 34 times to be exact, but she's mostly out in her birthday suit which is rather unsavory only covering herself up 7 times. But despite that, she has really high numbers, so following my critique and opinions, she's a 4.2 out of 5. Rathalos. Now this one is rather odd. Starting off strong in its 140 exam, but completely hitting a nosedive on the second page. It has a total of 56 valid entries. He does not care if Rathian is taken from it, as he seems to be a raging homosexual. So he has that going for him, and quite often is he kissing the homies goodnight 37 times, but rarely being clothed while doing so seven times to be exact. Besides me not being into this sort of sword play and with its incredibly low turnout, it's honestly a 2.8 out of 5. Nergigante, a community favorite. Ask any fan of the Elder which beast has the biggest schlong and they all say Nergigante as a deep throated schlong. And they also represent this quite often in its illustrations despite the dragon being asexual. And it has 91 valid art pieces in 149. Impressive, maybe not as much as Rathian's ratio but still big nonetheless like his dick. He also believes women have cooties so he only hangs around the boys. Quite a few of them in fact, 47 and barely any clothes to be seen. Love in pieces. With all this considered and my own bias of not being into dumb daddy muscular dragons, I have to give it a 4 out of 5 since, well, it checks the requirements despite me not liking it. Zenogre. Now my bias may play a very big role for this thunder pup, but let's get the facts out of the way first. Zenogre is one of the best monsters ever. Secondly, in 150 images, he has 99 valid posts. Quite impressive, making him the second biggest turnout so far. Not to mention an ogre is an exclusive male or female appealing, which makes him quite balanced. Even having 47 pair ups and actually wearing pants sometimes, 17 to be exact. Which makes an ogre, in my opinion, and based on facts, the best one so far, 4.5 out of 5. The canonical femboy of the Monster Hunter series, that is correct, every Mizu in the game is a male. Which, after researching its 149 image pool and finding 85 valid samples, it's almost more female than male. Which lore wise is very inaccurate, already off to a mixed start. It is often fighting loneliness, something you guys won't ever beat, much less 46 times, and quite the skimpy monster regardless of gender, only wearing clothes 9 times in its life. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Mizutune since I'm not into thumb boys, but I do consider canon lore to be important. I didn't know if Nergi Gonsai because those nutjobs would lynch me, but here I shall apply the double standard. 
And due to this, he gets a 3 out of 5. It would be higher if it was lore accurate. Narcacuga, arguably the most popular monster. But how good is the monster fur bait? Well, that is quite debatable. Out of 149 images, only 104 were valid. Which granted, is a lot more than Zenogre. But it is very questionable since half the time I'm not honestly sure that is Narcacuga or some sort of hybrid. But at that point, can I really consider it Narcacuga? It tends to wear clothes while mostly 19 bikinis and is more of a loner than some on this analytical video, only having around 32 partners. Honestly, all this considered on the fact that it's the most popular monster only to have really questionable results is making me give it a lower rating than you'd probably expect. It's a 3.9 out of 5, honestly. Kolb Teroff, also known as Mommy Kolb or Sugar Mommy Teroff. The MILF pole dancing stripper of the series, and this is to be expected, out of 149, 132 are valid, almost a 100% conversion rate. That is insane, but not surprising, we all saw it coming. Just like you are right now, put it away, now's not the time for that. But Kolb is picky, for she only has around 43 pairings in all those, and while her gold plated dress is mostly clothes, we all know she's dying to get out of it and only has her dress on 22 times. And let's be real, she's the best fur bait of the entire series, hands down, no arguments. Unless you count the felines, but that's just cheating. I know people in the comments that call her Palico's Fleshlight or Own a Hole. But I digress. Kov Teroff, she gets a 5 out of 5. Besides, she's horny by default. And thank you for somehow watching this entire video. If you found this entertaining or somehow educational, consider liking and subscribing.